Hey there everybody, this is Spiraling Helix. Welcome back to Paper Mario Color Splash. Last time, we got the big yellow paint star and then viewed a few of the bonus things in between the sections of the game. We we did Rochambeau again, that was, that's basically it. I also changed which cards I have in my inventory quite a bit because I had maxed out money. Anyway though, this time we are heading onwards towards the big blue paint star, starting off our journey in Dark Blue Inn. Let's -a go to this creepy looking place. Oh, of course the world famous VIP shows up now. Look, I wish I could take your coin, Mario, but the hotel is closed. Indefinitely. You see, we've had some bizarre occurrences here as of late. We're really in no state to welcome guests. Sir, it happened again. Another silent phone call. See? There's a strange force at work here. I called Luigi because paranormal activity is kind of his thing, but it went straight to voicemail. Do you think you could poke around and find what's causing all of this? I beg of you. Mario, did you hear that? Paranormal activity, like ghosts and junk. We should investigate. I have an inkling that this has something to do with the paint stars. And it's not just colorless spots. This place is creepy as all get out. Besides, I've always wanted to be a paranormal investigator. Ooh, we should get business cards. Ooh. Oh no, this music's creepy. No, no, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I can't handle this. I don't think I want to be in here. And you know, I didn't really explore the courtyard because, oh, I'm glad I came back. Thanks for saving me, Mario. I got jumped by a bunch of shy guys out of nowhere, and I just broke down and started crying. One of these days I'll toughen up and become a toad who stands up for himself. I believe that is one of the toads that joins the gang up in the secret hideout in Poor Prisma. You know, one of Piper's friends. Anyway, though, I don't think I have... What? Time within the hotel will be reset. Do you still want to exit? Yes. For you see, something interesting is occurring here in Dark Blue Inn. If I go back inside. Oh, of course the world famous VIP shows up now. Look, I wish I could take your coin, but the hotel is closed. Indefinitely. You see, blah 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 blah. Yes, silent phone call. We've been all this. Yes, I do believe there is a strange thing at hand. Mario, did you hear that? We should investigate. I have... Hold on. Wait, I just had major deja vu. Of course, this is paranormal activity too. This hotel is stuck in some sort of time loop. We're playing the same hours over and over again. Just now, like when we came here for the first time, the clock struck 12 and then the phone rang. Unless we stop the source of the paranormal activity, this hotel is doomed to live the same hours over and over again for all eternity. And if there is a paint star here, we'll never find it in that case. So let's put our detective hats on and solve the mystery. Okay, now you've got me hooked. If you mess around with time, I am immediately drawn in. So welcome to Dark Blue Inn. It seems that there's 
some interesting custodians and these images are a painful memory of Sticker Star and I don't want to see them. The dining hall is through here, but the hotel is closed, so there's no one in there. I'll be the judge of that, you seen as paranormal activity? Uh, no, he was right. There's no one in there. All good. I trust that toad, he was smiling after all. So let's head inside the first room. What? Those books just flew off the shelves by themselves. I'm telling you, Mario, this place is haunted for sure. Ooh, we got some classic poltergeist stuff. Well, I don't know my ghosts. I think that's poltergeist. No matter how many times I pick up the books, they just get thrown from the shelves again. Am I doomed to pick up these books over and over for the rest of my life? Um, well, seems like this book isn't quite making its way out, but there's nothing to check, so I guess we'll see what else is in this place. Any... anything about the phone call? The phone call from room 301, but I couldn't hear anything on the other end. There isn't even anyone in 301 right now. So creepy. Ooh, you can't go in this... You can? I'm afraid only authorized personnel are allowed in there. I can assure you nothing strange is happening in there. Your time would be better spent elsewhere. Okay then. I'm the housekeeping manager. I've been doing this job for so long, I can sense when a room needs to be cleaned. But I noticed something weird recently. For some reason, dust doesn't gather under the bed in room 302. Interesting indeed. Well, we have another door over here. Don't worry, I see that colorless spot over on that lift. But around the side of the hotel, the inn, I heard a rumor that there was a rare red bird around here, so I put out some bait. Haven't seen anything though. Maybe it's just an urban legend? Okay. Doesn't seem to be much out the back here. No hidden blocks or anything. Nothing hiding. You know what? This actually seems like a fairly ordinary space. Except for the... Why would you be hunting for a red bird? On the ground. Shy guys? Oh, hey, this is the linen closet, but we uh, need to sanitize the linens before they can be used. We're not doing anything weird down here, so you should just leave and forget you saw us. Um, okay then. Let's head on into the elevator, I suppose. Open up! Which floor shall we go to? Well, we have heard more about Floor 3, so I think that's the perfect place to start our investigation. But it's... we knew it. I knew it. It's the Shy Guys. It's the colorless spots. That's what's doing it. You need to bring more color into this place. That'll rip! We have some scaredy rats. I don't like scaredy rats. So I'm going to use a little bit of overkill. Just a little bit. I have many big cards now, so you bet I'm gonna use them all. Hey, and I got all the timing right too. Now the... Scatty rats are actually super... Ooh, 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 yes! As I was saying, the scatty rats are actually super weak enemies in that any card will basically kill them. In fact, I know we fought them before, but now with our newfound abilities from claiming the big yellow paint star. Hold on a minute. Okay, this has got to be some sort of paranormal mess. Is that it? That's it? Room 301. Isn't that the one with the phone call? Interesting. But yes, with our newfound abilities, with the yellow big paint star, you can instantly kill the 
scaredy rats before even having a battle. Anyway, we had something about room 302, so I just went ahead and 303, something creepy is going on, but it doesn't seem like anything all that bad. Guess I'll check room 302. No, 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 no. Okay, I thought he was gonna come after me then. Woo! Ah! The ghost with the creepy mustache! Oh, it's just Mario. Sorry about that. Hey, uh, you're not gonna tell anyone I'm slacking off in here, are you? Well, I guess not. I found this book in a bookcase on the first floor, but it's completely blank. Pretty weird if you ask me. You know what's pretty weird? It seems to be a bit white. How about I help you out with that? Whoa! I can read it now! Hmm? You know, now that I can actually read this thing, it's super boring. I'd rather watch paint dry. You might enjoy this book, old timer. It's all yours. Just return it to the first floor bookcase when you're done with it. Old timer? Old timer? You call on me an old timer? I I think I have an issue. You know, I think I will tell your superiors what you're doing. We're closed for business, so slacking off is really the only thing I can do right now. Uh, yeah, to be fair, he makes a good point. But this bed seems to be in a weird position. And underneath it... Whoa, there's a giant f hole in the floor! That'll be a great place to hide next time I want to nap on the job. Oh, you are such a bad toad. Well, down here. Hmm. Something interesting's going on. Now, if you came to the second floor earlier, this door would have been locked as that box was in the way. And what's this? What? The paint revealed a ghostly presence. No way. M Mario? Are you scared? So even Mario gets scared sometimes. Don't worry, I won't tell Princess Peach. I'm looking for room 201, but I can't seem to find it. Um, well, yes, please move that out of the way. I actually thought hammering that would move it out of the paint spot, but seems the painting the ghosts make them appear. Maybe we should use that strategy later, but you said you were looking for room 201? That should be right here. Hmm. Now I think the solution, it must be hiding underneath this wall. So let's, you know, cut the wall out, shall we? That's got to do it. Here we go. Snip, snip, snippity snip. Let's find out what's under wall number one. It's door number 201. Come on down, spooky ghost toad. Oh, actually, no. Oh! I just flung my stylus halfway across the room. Anyway, it's just a standard room. I thought I'd check it out before coming in. So let's go tell the toad the good news. I'm looking for... I found it. I found it. Isn't that room 201 over there? Huh? Oh, you're right. Room 201. How did I miss that? Thanks to you, I was finally able to check in. But I've got a tea party to get to, so I've got it yet. Ta-ta! There we go, but it seems, based on this sound, we still have more paranormal activity going on. And, you know what, I did kind of notice some weird drops on the floor here. Maybe if I do this? I can't find them anywhere. That was terribly voiced. I can't see anything without them. Um... You, you, your, your glasses are on your head. Your glasses are on your foot. It. Let me help you with that. 
My glasses, I can see for days. I'm off to the party. Hmm, uh, he, he must be off to that tea party as well, the, the first one. No! Oh. You almost got me there. So with that guys, it seems that we've discovered the source of this paranormal activity. Next time, let's uncover the remaining toads and get to the bottom of why exactly this has created a time loop. This has been Spiraling Helix. See you guys next time, everybody. Bye-bye.